Shadowkeep is a little over a month away. At the moment, I'm playing Destiny, just prepping for this DLC. I know very well going into DLCs without said materials and so forth can leave you trailing. So I've decided to bring you guys a video on the prep I am doing to give you guys an insight into how you can prep yourselves also. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you enjoy it, leaving a like truly helps out and if you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. So my first prep is to farm for or keep certain pieces of gear, armor to be precise due to the certain limitations we will have when the armor 2.0 system comes into effect as because we know our current armor loadouts will be usable, all of our armors will be viable and mods will be effective. Now I farmed for certain roles I can use in sync with certain 2.0 armors and we'll get into that in a second. But for those of you who don't understand, when the armor 2.0 comes into effect with Shadow Keep, armor with its perks and how they drop now will more or less be non existent. You won't be able to get them because the armor 2.0 system changes a whole host of things. Changes alike, certain mods will be tied to energy elements that armors drop with. Solar energy armor pieces, besides the 11 mods you can see on the screen now that are not tied to any certain energy element armor will drop with. But individual weapon mods like auto rifle scavenger, hand cannon, unflinching mods and so forth will be tied to certain elements. So with solar, fusion rifles, linear fusions, auto rifles, SMGs and rocket launchers, these are tied to solar armors. Hand cannons, scouts, sidearms, grenade launchers and sniper rifles are tied to void energy armors. Shotguns, balls, LMGs and pulse rifles are tied to arc energy armors. And even more change is the fact that we are now seeing perks are even more strictly tied to certain pieces of armor. Like reloader perks are tied to gauntlets and scavenger perks are tied to leg armors. To be a little more precise on this. Weapon targeting mods and ammo finders are tied to helmets, ammo finders being a whole new mod. Reloader perks are tied to gauntlets. Weapon reserve mods and weapon unflinching mods are tied to chest pieces. Scavenger mods and dexterity mods are tied to leg armors. Class items it seems won't offer any of the perks we can see on class items in game now. For instance, at the moment we can get scavenger perks on our class items and gauntlets. When Shadow Keep comes, scavenger perks will be locked to leg armors. On class items now and also helmets we can see weapon reserve mods. When Shadow Keep comes, these weapon reserve mods will be tied to chest pieces. So it's probably wise, which is something I am doing, and that is grinding for class items which have various different scavenger mods and reserve mods on them. So when Shadow Keep does a land and I want to use, let's say, a pulse rifle scavenger mod on my leg armors, which would require an arc energy leg piece, but I want to use a sniper rifle scavenger mod, which is tied to a void leg piece, obviously you can't use these both at the same time. So having a class item with either, either a pulse rifle scavenger or sniper rifle scavenger mod would be good to go with this certain loadout. Now the reason I am mainly concentrating on class items is because of the scavenger perks. These seem to be very limited in the sense of more or less everything other than individual weapon mods like reloader mods, dexterity mods, unflinching mods etc all have substitute mods not tied to a specific energy. You can see these on the screen now. These mods you can use on any armor 2.0 piece but what's missing here is scavenger. There isn't a scavenger mod or a substitute scavenger mod which can be used on any armor 2.0 piece so scavenger mods are tied to individual energies. And because Luke Smith confirmed there will only be 11 of these mods, and we have 11 here, I doubt we will see a scavenger mod which will work with a variety of weapons. So having class items which can help in these particular loadouts is a good thing. So to the many posts I am seeing about deleting all your older gear, that's utter BS people, don't do that. I have many loadouts now dedicated to specific weapon loadouts and these are staying put until they get a whole host of experience with the armor 2.0 system and I advise you all to do the exact same and think the same. So with what I've just covered and said, check your current armor pieces, keep what you think will help come shadow keep and don't start dismantling things until you 100% are sure that they will be of no use to you. Okay, so something else which I am doing. I'm currently stacking planetary materials. The more the better, although not necessary. As like I've already mentioned, the armor 2.0 system, when it comes into play, all planetary armor drops will be two point armor drops. 
Now is it important here to go crazy with the material farming for each individual planet but having as many as you can spend isn't a bad thing as even items you have no use for which you will get through planetary materials and opening engrams on planetary vendors when dismantling these they help in other areas of the game i.e. gunsmith materials cores and shards. Obviously Nessus and the EDZ are the easiest places to farm materials due to the AFK forge farms. If you have no idea of what I'm talking about here people, I will link a video in the video description you can check out which explains exactly how you can farm these forges and materials while AFK. Something else I am doing is bounties, I am completing and stacking bounties all I can, Vanguard, Crucible, Gambit, Hawthorne, Ada 1, Planetary Bounties and so forth, as although these with Shadowkeep might not be needed, the match you will get in exchange for these will be sufficient. And I'm doing these just at the odd chance that bounties are needed for a certain quest or something as it won't be the first time. Plus there's the XP you'll get from said bounties which will count towards your bonus power level. You can also earn yourself some Vanguard and Crucible tokens while you are at this and which will be great to have stacked for when Shadowkeep comes. Don't forget to use any boons you have to earn that little extra too. Another thing I'm trying to stack up on is indeed gunsmith materials as with Shadowkeep these will be one of the main sources in game for various items to do with infusing and earning armor and weapon mods. With Shadowkeep the gunsmith will get a whole new host of things to trade for and to trade these things no doubt you will need a certain amount of materials. To get gunsmith materials it's just a matter of dismantling things you earn and don't need or already have and don't need by just playing various activities which reward you unneeded gear. The game is literally full of places to do this, in fact almost every place will reward you stuff you don't now need. So just play the game, delete stuff you don't want and accumulate those materials and do not spend them. Legendary shards are more or less accumulated the same way, by just doing everything nowadays you earn gear which gives you shards when not needed. Shards again with shadow keep will have a key element in upgrading and infusing armour. Another major thing we need as many as we can get our hands on are enhancement cores. There was once a time where these were just stupid hard to accumulate because there was just so little on offer. Now they ain't too bad and I suggest getting as many as you can before Shadowkeep comes. The gunsmith has daily and weekly bounties which are so easy to do it's crazy. You can also do these on every character. Also there becomes a point with your clan when you get to a clan rank 4. When you achieve that 5000 XP weekly clan engram you will be rewarded 7 additional enhancement cores and this again can be done on every character. Also if you have any masterworks weapons or armor from year 2 which you do not need and see no future purpose for, dismantle them and land yourself I believe 7 cores. And guys that's basically what I am doing in prep for the Shadow Keep DLC. I thought I'd share with you guys the process of which I am doing hopefully help some of you out who are either stuck in what you play for or just need guidance on what matters when Shadow Keep does eventually come. Now I ain't going too crazy here, I mean I've done that in the past, basically worn myself out when at the end of the day it wasn't needed. So this is just like a brief guide on what I am doing. But on that note we have come to the end of the video guys, if you enjoyed leaving a like really helps out, if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.